I'm going to move on and say fame. That's one of the, 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 the topics. It says, after the last episode, it made me think about, has fame changed you? Mm, you answer first. I can't be asked to answer this if I'm honest. It's going to just be taken out of proportion. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, you, uh, you know, hand on heart. That's why I didn't answer. Has fame changed you? I feel like TikTok it, are just going to go mad. Yeah. Oh, you know he's what? changed. How dare him even say that opinion? But yes, it has changed us, bro. We're a little bit more paranoid. You see online people cooking Danny Aaron's for changing. He's been getting bro, we, Look, I'll go into that more depth. We're on Ginger. Danny Aaron's is someone we signed for Girth and Turf. Oh, yes, of course. The second he joined, Ginger's chat was so horrible to him to the point that Ginger had to put his foot down and gone, yo, what the f are you lot doing, bro? The guy just got a tattoo. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, how does that change him as a person? I think the tattoo's nice as well. Danny Aaron's tattoo. Mad, isn't it? I haven't seen it. I'm so yeah, that's why I'm kind of even scared to give opinions these days, but ban them anyway, man. There's bare naked little use. But yes, fame has changed, but answer the question, man. Take it out of context <laughs> if you want. Yeah, yeah, I'm shit and drink a piss. Um, fame has changed me in the sense that obviously through having money, you get like nicer things and like the roads are dangerous. And there's been some incidents where people have tried to take my nice things and all glory to God, they've never took them. Cause I'm either with security or my 10 toes are just too fast. So um, yeah, I guess I've just gained paranoia. Yeah. Can I say that? Yeah. I've just gained paranoia and yeah, that's how I feel like I have changed through fame. Um, and that's about it. If I'm thinking or can maybe, can you answer so it can help me think or tell me maybe how I've changed since you've known me to now. Uh, to be fair, I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah you, I don't think we yeah, have changed. Think changed much. From, really? From, yeah. Yeah. From now, I met Chunks. I don't think Chunks has changed. The only thing I could genuinely point out is that we're just a little bit more on edge now. Yo, get in the car quick. More you know? anti potentially. Have you guys softened a little bit? But I don't know if that's fame. That's just you just got a bit older. Older, maybe that's age. Because obviously, you started this. He started this in what thirteen years, twelve years now. Yeah, you, I'm twelve years now. You were quite abrasive now. when 12. you came in, though, right? Like you were a bit more you know, um, I, don't, I don't think aggressive is the right word, but you were definitely a bit more in your face when you first came in, no? Yeah, I think it was like to prove a point. To prove a point, You wanted to basically stand out from the crowd. Uh, obviously, YouTube was nowhere near saturated as it, was, uh, as it was now, but like you wanted to prove a point and TikTok wasn't a thing. So it was about gaining a fan base. So back then you were much more in people's faces. You were younger. You were more excited about things. Uh, just innocent as well. You know what I mean? So I think that's when you're younger and you want you want to put, you have a point to prove you want to be in people's faces compared to when you start to do a bit better in life and you're like you know what I'm kind of solidified as one of the UK creators I don't have to do too much mm. you know what I mean mm -hmm. so it's like I'm not trying to get in the tabloids or be in the headlines and I'm beyond shade bro I'm not trying to do all of that I'm just trying to coast make my money yeah do my thing so it may, maybe well, it so makes me look more antisocial because I don't really attend events anymore I don't go anywhere but it's because oh, of the fact are you sad for that okay. or is that like something huh? you is that do you, do you feel like that's the fame or is that just again you it's the game it's not fame yeah, because yeah. at the end of the day when we used to go to these events and stuff it was to build rapport with certain people and because I want to be in certain rooms but now they'll come to build you it get, with us they're going to they're gonna come towards you because you're the guy anyway you know what I'm trying to say and maybe I might be arrogant but I feel like you, if you under, when you understand the business and understand the game like you understand that that's how it works mm. you work very hard so then you can chill later on in life you know what I'm trying to say mm. so I feel like um I, I'd say I'm changed. I've changed definitely, but I've changed because it's made me smarter and work smarter, not harder. You know. Proof mm. of that is you were very warm to me when like we never we never met before we did the podcast, right? Mm. You were extremely warm to me from the second that we met, and I didn't expect it. Phil's yeah, both of you. Oh, why? Why would you not? Because you would that? expect people to be arrogant bastards, didn't it? No, oh, not, like, oh, not oh, even man. arrogant. I was just expecting you to be a little bit more standoffish. Like yeah. we'd never worked together. We'd yeah. never even. I think I've got maybe one time where you and I have been at the same event and that was it. Yeah. And obviously everyone wants to speak to Chunk. So I'm never, like, you're never yeah. going to come over and go, and you yeah. don't even know who I am. But yeah. like, do you know what I'm saying? No, we're lovely So people. warm from the second we jumped off. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I was like really happy about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I feel like generally for me, it's like, there's a lot of people that will come into a room and try to speak to the person that's got the most clout and try to speak to the person that's the most popping. But for me, for me, I can definitely speak on my own behalf would be like, I try to vibe with people that have got the best energies. You know what I mean? It doesn't necessarily mean anything about what you do or what your earning potential is or what you can benefit, how you can benefit me, but more so how you are as a character and as a person. Of course, it's nice to still get to know the people in the right places, but for me, what's the most important is how you are as a, as a person. 
you know? Mm-hmm. If you're a shit person, but you're doing well enough, I couldn't care less about having a friendship with you, you know? Mm-hmm. That's how things goes. But um, yeah, I'd say it's changed me, but I'm not upset. Not, about not dramatically. Yeah, I'm not upset. But, and even the, the word change has a negative connotation to it. It doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. Sometimes you can change for a good thing. You can learn about yourself a little bit through fame where people like pick at you or like, you know, we're talking about that comment that I had earlier. 